Well, push to stop street racing means an increased police presence on the streets of Dallas. Dallas leaders launched a nonprofit initiative to help spread the word. At a food distribution this afternoon, they helped police pass out flyers to talk about street racing concerns. Fox 4's Alex Boyer talked with organizers. He joins us live in Dallas. Alex. Hi, Blake, you know, and the goal of the curfew that's in place this weekend is to reduce crime as well as to discourage uh, street racing in the city. Dallas police officers uh, spent today handing out flyers, letting folks know about the dangers of street racing as well as the fines associated taking part in this illegal activity. They don't realize how dangerous it is or they're doing, they don't care. So, yeah, so. They do that over there where I live at. I live in North Dallas. Dallas police officers using community events like this food giveaway in West Dallas to chat with folks about the dangers of street racing. Give us a call. If you see something going on, you can remain anonymous. The ongoing problem prompted the DPD to conduct a special initiative this weekend. Officers enforcing a juvenile curfew for teens 16 and under in downtown Dallas and neighboring communities like Uptown and Victory Park, where street racing has become common. They have about 12, 13, 14 locations a night. So they move from one location, they spend a few minutes there, do their damage, then they move to another location. Like Sylvia Rodriguez's West Dallas neighborhood, located off busy Ledbetter Drive, it's another problem spot. They're ruining our streets. They don't let the traffic go by. You know, people are stuck there a lot of the time. So we're coming together to stand in unison, saying that we declare this area a peace zone. They're safe for our kids. In the southern sector of Dallas, Councilman Tanel Atkins joined community activists for the launch of a partnership to reduce crime in the area. Councilman Atkins said he supports the juvenile curfew. Yeah, we need a teen curfew because we need to know where the kids are. Back in May, Dallas City Council passed an updated street racing ordinance. It allows Dallas police officers to issue citations to spectators with fines up to $500. Participants can face up to 180 days in jail and or a $2,000 fine. It's a long time coming. Hopefully we can shut this down and, um, you know, have, you know, have peace in our city again and have the community be able to drive at night without getting blocked in and these individuals consider this a sport so without the spectators there is no sports. This is going on all over the Metroplex and they're having to spread themselves Stanley but if everybody pulls together we can do something about it. And many Dallas City Council members are in favor of cutting DPD's uh, overtime budget by millions of dollars. The police chief, as well as the Dallas Police Association president, says a lot of that money goes towards things like enforcing uh, these street racing initiatives. I should also note that that juvenile curfew will remain in effect for the next two weekends.